Today on 21st Century Business, explore state-of-the-art technology, innovative business strategies, insights from cutting-edge corporations around the globe, a visionary look into the answers of tomorrow today. Business leaders, business solutions, 21st Century Business. Welcome to 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. In 1414, an act of parliament instituted the use of safe conduct documents, passports as we know them, for Englishmen and foreign nationals traversing the English countryside. Well, much has changed in the world of identity verification since Henry V signed those papers nearly 700 years ago. The need for highly complex physical documents and e-documents that can be verified in a split second has now become the need and the norm. Here with us today to discuss the challenges that businesses and governments alike face in the world of document verification and the solutions they offer is Dr. Arif Mamadov of Regula Forensics Incorporated. Welcome, Dr. Mamadov. Thank you, Jackie. It's my pleasure to be here today. You know, the need for accurate and quick identity and document authentication in our world is just at an all-time high, it seems. You know, we all understand we live in a complex world that has threats of deception that can drain our bank accounts, even take our lives. So what are the challenges facing businesses and governments today regarding document authentication? This is a very complex uh, question, Jack. Let's start with the quality of uh, printing uh, materials and tools available to average user. Nowadays, it's very easy to create fake ID which can pass visual inspection. So the governments are forced to introduce special security uh, features inside of those documents, which is hard, almost impossible to uh, reproduce with the average printer. And those security features require special equipment in order to visualize them, and the user must know the location of those security features inside the document. The other problem which we're facing is uh, the uh, number of the travels increased significantly in the last few years. So the time allocated for ID verification at the security checkpoints or uh, airline uh, terminals or train terminals has become very critical issues in the passenger flow management uh, process. And finally, uh, more and more government agencies find themselves in need to uh, verify the uh, security uh, in within those documents. If it used to be that the police or immigration services or attorneys were checking those uh, type of the documents, nowadays it's being checked by hotels, airlines, TSA, uh, border securities, and many, many other entities. Mm. So the governments are always creating new documents with additional security uh, features, but they face the need of keeping those documents easy to use and very reliable. And the companies like Regula are facing the challenges of keeping up with those changes within the documents and provide uh, complete and reliable solutions for document authentication. Mm. So let's talk about that. You know, it seems like there's just so many variables when it comes to security and how documents and identities are intertwined. What solutions does Regula offer to help simplify this? Okay, even though that every document looks different, there are certain standards such as ICAO or International Civil Aviation Organization or ISO, International Standard Organizations. Those standards are dictate how the document has to be structured. So at minimum, we can retrieve the information from the passport while scanning it and also verify uh, it against those standards. But our solutions can do much more. We can retrieve the information not only from the machine readable zone, which is usually does, but uh, from visual zone or RFID chip, cross verify information, make sure that it uh, matches up. We also check for validity of that information, and we can look for the document specific security features, which mm. vary from document to document. So in order to provide these solutions, we uh, developed hardware and software in-house, and we also maintain the database uh, for, of the travel documents and visas inside of the house as well. So we're not uh, dependent on the third-party applications in order to provide these solutions. Well, let's test out our own travel documents and head to Minsk and Dog of Peels, Latvia, as we take a closer look at Regula and their comprehensive solutions in this 21st Century Business Field Report. When an e-passport is read, multiple technologies are simultaneously called upon. As the document is scanned, not only does the machine collect and read multiple data points, it must immediately engage proprietary hardware, software, and databases to compare those data points and assert or deny authenticity. Headquartered in Minsk, in the Republic of Belarus, 
Regula enjoys a global presence. For example, much of Regula's products are manufactured here in Dog of Pills, Latvia. At Regula, we are trying to make universal and fully functional solution for automated document verification. Regula's secrets of success include their ability to stay ahead of the industry, combined with the approach of offering comprehensive services, a complete solution for the end user. After scanning the document, we received three images, white, infrared and ultraviolet. Also, we read all the data from the document, including the chip, and if the document is OK, we have green marks. If there is any problem of, or substitution of any data, we receive red alerts. The document should be controlled properly, and this requires some time. But when the passenger flow is increasing, you have uh, not a lot of time to do that. So for that, uh, our systems are designed for. With over 20 years of experience in combating fraud through the creation of high-tech forensic equipment and software, Regula has become a global industry leader in the automated verification of document authenticity. Arif, how long has Regula been in business? So we started in 1992 uh, in Minsk, Belarus, and since then we moved to several countries around. So we have a manufacturing facility, as you just saw, in Latvia. Uh, we opened office in the United States. So overall, we have a global presence after 21 years of being in business. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, where can your ID verification solutions be used? Uh, the range of applications for our ID verifications is quite uh, wide. As I mentioned before, there is a need for document verifications by many agencies, so we can uh, supply our solutions to all of them, ranging from hotels, airlines, TSA, banks, uh, and we are already using those type of applications. Our readers have already deployed in those, hmm. those areas. Wow. Now, can you elaborate a little more on the term automated authentication? What is that? Okay, picture yourself arriving from outside of the country and staying in line for the passport check. So the immigration officer has to check your document, make sure that it's valid, it's authentic, and the person you presenting this document is in fact the person to whom this document is initiated. Mm -hmm. So if all this task can be done manually, it will take forever and lights will never end. And it does. So automated <laughs> ID verification is designed to do all these tasks and more within a second. And software alerts the user if there are any problems with the document so the immigration officer can make a qualified decision on let or with a uh, let or not to the person in the country. Now, here's a two-part question for you. How many countries are in your database and, and how often is it updated? Okay, we have over 2,000 documents from 191 countries of the world. And of course, each country issued their documents. So the documents being issued all the time, everywhere. So we keep up performance of our solutions by updating our databases about on average two to three times a year. However, with some customers, we have a special arrangements when we update their databases as soon as we have a new document within our system. So in this case, the turnaround time for updating the database could be between one to 10 days, depends on number of the documents to be added and the complexity of the, those documents. Amazing, amazing that you have such a huge database to work from. Now, Dr. Mamadov, can you verify US and Canadian driver's licenses or any other type of custom document? Uh, yes, we've done a big project, almost a year-long project, by adding all types of the driver's licenses from all United uh, States, uh, all 50 uh, states in all Canadian provinces in our databases. Wow. So we can work and authenticate those uh, doc documents within our system. And since we develop those database in-house, for us it's relatively easy to add custom uh, documents in the database as well. And we have several projects when the uh, customers uh, ask us to introduce the documents within their solutions, and we've done that successfully. What information is in your database? Are the agencies sharing with you the, the basic information that appears on a passport or that appears on a driver's uh, license so you can verify it? What do you have? Uh, usually when we create the document, we have a sample 
documents provided by the document all, all owners, such as uh, Department of State in the United States or Passport Canada in Canada, or by the international agencies such as Interpol. Uh, so we we'll use those samples, official samples of documents, uh, in uh, to put in our database. And uh, the document, the database uh, for the ID verifications contains number of the different fields, such as position of the visual zone, the position of each field, the code for deciphering all the uh, coded information within the document, and uh, of course the information about security features within, within those, docu uh, those documents, which is documents in country specific. Well, it appears that Regula brings a global solution to a global problem, matching it with a global presence as well. Thank you, Dr. Mamadov, for sharing Regula's detailed and fascinating solutions with us today. It's fascinating. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. For 21st Century Business, I'm Jackie Bales. <laughs>